Disney Plus Japan executive admits anime industry making a shift towards more acceptable expressions in order to appeal to wider audiences. Well, wrap it up, boys and girls. One of our favorite pieces of media is about to be completely ruined to fit uh, modern audiences, so to speak. This is just... <sighs> The only word that comes to my mind as soon as I read this was yikes. Just just pure 100% yikes. Like that is really the best word to describe what is going on here. So, yeah, uh the writing has been on the wall for a while now that um this was going to happen. I think anyone at this point that is like been paying attention to anime and especially those that have been in the anime slash manga community for at least a decade, at least ten years or so. That actually not even that. If you've been in the manga and anime community for like six years, I think you've definitely seen a shift. But those that have been in it a lot longer have definitely noticed how things have definitely shifted away from what it once was. And what do I mean by that? Well, it's very clear nowadays, besides obviously just the constant con uh, controversy of buzzwords and stuff being used to label certain anime like controversial or whatever, we also have it to where we have issues with translations and localizers, things completely cut or censored to fit modern audiences. There's just so many things that we have seen so often in just the past year alone, let alone just this year, not even counting a full year, but just these past few months. And it's just like with all the controversy and drama that's been happening, it's bound to have happened. It's just like this was more or less confirmation to what we already expected because it's like... I mean, let's think about last year, okay? We, we literally had everybody finally becoming more aware of the Dragon Maid change and stuff, where just like, you know, there was literally translators or localizers changing the dub to have a political agenda. And it was very clear that, you know, there was a lot of things being shoved into that that just was not in the original source. And the reason why now we have, like, this happening, why this is even happening now, is because you have these big companies, like, you know, for instance, Disney, to uh, companies like Amazon, Netflix, and even Sony, now wanting to dive more into the anime pie, so to speak. And it it's a big reason for it is because it's lucrative. There's a lot of money to be made from anime. And any company that pays attention to trends, etc., and the algorithm and data gathering, so to speak, you know, they, they're going to be becoming very well aware of just how popular anime is. It's definitely exploded just in the last few years alone. And basically, with that major shift, it makes sense why these companies would want to invest more in anime itself. And just recently, in terms of profit-making, the overall West has started to outpace the profit margin that is within Japan's own country. What I mean by this is, is like, let's just say Japan, you know, in terms of the total income it makes from its anime, you know, I guess, merchandise sales, etc. in Japan, okay, locally, let's say it makes, a, you know, I guess a few billion, okay, let's just say that. I don't know the exact number, I'm just throwing a number out there. Let's say it makes two billion, okay? Well, with the overall popularity of anime, and now that it's spreading in more into different countries in the West, etc., and more people are kind of diving into it, we could say maybe, like, in the West, you know, anime now is uh, profitable by $4 billion. So it's like maybe a, a, a complete double increase over Japanese's income. So, obviously, in terms of profit margin and what, you know, these companies are viewing, especially companies in Japan, they're like, to make more money, we need to obviously make more people in the other countries want to watch our said show to appeal to them, so to speak. And obviously, Disney, you know, being a, a big contributor that wants to get a lot of anime under their belt, is like, we need to manipulate, you know, these anime to fit modern audiences. And this eventually is going to probably seep down into manga creation as well to make them more socially acceptable, so to speak, for modern audiences this entire information honestly it's like i said it's been there already we have already seen the beginning of this for a while now for years but it just seems like finally it's like disney said the quiet part out loud that they're like yeah we're, we're actually doing this we're wanting to uh censor and shift things to appeal to a wide margin and lose what makes anime special and in fact will alienate those that are big fans of anime in the first place i mean 
I don't want anime to be censored. I think that one of the biggest appeals to me I've had with anime since I was a kid was that anime was just vastly different in terms of storytelling and writing in comparison to something you would see maybe in a regular comic or just a regular TV show or cartoon or whatever. Anime was just very different, and I've always appreciated that, especially just the uncensored nature of it as well and just the stuff that they show in their stuff. It's just like, it's ridiculous. And... Seeing this, it makes me incredibly sad because it's like, it, it it's going to happen. I mean, people's reactions to this really make sense. People like a case of like, you know, America wider audiences. You have people say keyboard Disney. And it's just like, yeah, I mean, we've seen what Disney has done with like their recent stuff. Like, let's think about like, you know, Marvel. I know there is probably Marvel fans a part of, you know, the community here that watches my videos. But let's not kid ourselves. The latest stuff of Marvel has not been the best, okay? It really hasn't. It's not hit the same way as like, you know, the ending of the first part with like Endgame and Affinity war there's been some good here and there like moon knight to like loki but overall you know the new stuff has not been good and we also have disney constantly remaking things with live action which is just completely unnecessary and all this different other type of crap they throw in and it's just like yeah it's very clear that disney has garnered quite a negative you know, reputation as of late, and if they bring that same mentality into the anime space, it's going to be absolutely awful. They're going to be the downfall of anime, like, straight up. Like, it is going to tarnish most good shows and most writers, I'm assuming, because it's like, let's be honest here, stuff like, like, let's be honest, something like Mushiku Tensei, ReZero, uh... Like, you know, that type of stuff would not exist. Like, they wouldn't be showcased like they are. Hell, Death Note probably wouldn't even be showcased. Hunter Hunter as well. Those type of stories definitely would not exist if Disney really got their hands on it to manipulate it for wider audiences. That sh like, that would not, like, ever fly. It, like, it would never fly whatsoever. So, it's just... I, it hurts, man. This legit hurts to see. Like, I... <sighs> As someone that's been, you know, enjoying anime for, like, since 2006, technically earlier, but I didn't know it was anime at the time, thanks to, you know, Dragon Ball and stuff, you know, it's just sad, uh, but, I mean, to be fair, we already saw it coming, I mean, with the whole mainstream nature of Demon Slayer to JJK and all that stuff, I mean, it was just bound to happen. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I think that this comment here, what this person said, makes perfect sense. I mean, what we've been seeing with video games for the last decade is pretty much what's going to be happening with anime now going forward. I'm assuming we're at the beginning of the end. That this new decade, for instance, 2024 to probably 2030, we're going to probably see a radical shift and it's going to be more or less kind of what's happened to gaming in the last 10 years, which uh, is a scary thought, but... Nothing we can really do about it besides our wallet and just not consuming the said product. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I'll leave it at that. I just, I wanted to talk about this honestly. Tell me your honest thoughts. Like, uh, do you think that, uh, this is being over, you know, dramatic, like I'm being over dramatic and that, you know, this is an over dramatic post? Or do you think that legitimately, looking at the track record of what we've seen from, like, um, stuff from Dizzy as of late, do you think that this is legitimately concerning the fact that, you know, people within Japan are willing to shift the approach of how things look. Do you think this is concerning? This is bad? Should they just do full stop? You know, let me know in the comments below. I am legitimately curious. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy my content, and you know, as always, I greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe or leave a like on the video. But with that, be safe, stay healthy, guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Chibi out.